Hello everyone and welcome to episode 11 of 9 in 9 with Coventry City. Today we travel to the Kassam Stadium to take on Oxford United. Today could be the day we get promoted back to the Championship. We'll go through all the permutations in a second and we'll take a look at the results we've had since we were last together. Don't forget, if you enjoyed this content, please leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Don't forget to click that notification bell to know when a new video goes up on the channel. And also, don't forget to leave me a comment if you've got anything to say. Let's dive into those results we've had since we were last together. So following the draw with Derby County, the link is up the top for that one. We failed to make it through to the Papa John's Trophy Final. We did make a few changes for it because we had Bolton to play on the Saturday, but yeah, we were defeated by Chelsea. Edwin Anderson and Fastino Origin with the goals for them. And as you can see, it didn't pay off against Bolton. We were beaten by three goals to two. Elias Kachunga with the winning goal in added time from the penalty spot. They had been in front twice, Bolton, and we pegged them back. But they finally put us to the sword in added time. But we did bounce back with a win over Salford. Victor Gorakes and Wesley Jabello with our goals. Josh Morris put Salford in front. Aaron Ramsey, not that one, was sent off for Salford in added time. And then we left it late against Northampton. It was an absolute corker, this one. Connor Maley put Northampton in front on 21. We equalised through Matt Godden, went in front through Gustavo Hamer before Brandon Hanlon equalised with five minutes to play. We pushed, and we really did. Roshan Williams making it 3-2. Victor Gorakes wrapping it up to make it 4-2 to Coventry. So, just the league table to take a look at now. And the reason it could be our day today is down to Wigan. They're on 78 points. Forget the gap to Sunderland. It is between them two, probably, for the last automatic place. We are on 91 points. So the gap to Wigan is 13 points with six games left to play. Obviously five after today. So we'll take a look at who they've got to take on today when we look at all the fixtures for tonight. So Sheffield Wednesday have got 74. Still in with a shout potentially of making automatic. But as I've said, it's probably between Wigan and Sunderland for that second place. And then it starts to hot up very nicely indeed. So you would say Sheffield Wednesday are probably in the playoffs. Derby have 67. Plymouth have 67. Peterborough have 66. Charlton have 66. Bolton have 65. It is that tight between those five clubs. Do not count out the MK Dons on 62. Everybody else is probably out of the race from this point on. So still six teams in with a shout of making those final two playoff places. It's going to be a fascinating final six games for them. Down at the bottom, Northampton have almost gone. That comeback win by us has almost consigned them to relegation. Morecambe have 31 and are probably going to go with them. Bristol Rovers have 32. They're probably going to go with them as well. Fleetwood are the side that are up lead mobile. On to 33 points, just six points behind Gillingham, but they do have a worse goal difference than they do. Gillingham have got 39, Wickham have got 40, Salford have got 40, Gap to Accrington Stanley on 47, Cambridge 48 with Lake Norian also on 48, 56 for Rotherham, 56 for Oxford, they aren't in promotion contention this season. And then we move on to Lincoln and AFC Wimbledon, who again, not in contention for the playoffs, sadly for them. Although, mathematically, they're still involved. So, a big game for us at the top of the table. Let's take a look at the rest of the fixtures for tonight. So, we are away at Oxford. Wigan are at home to Wickham. So, you would think they're probably going to bank that one, right? Maybe. This is League One. Anything can happen. Sunderland at home to Lake Norian. Any other standout fixtures? It could be the bell tolling for Northampton at home to Derby. AFC Wimbledon are at home to Morecambe. Accrington Stanley at home to Bristol Rovers. So there are a few things going on tonight, but we will focus on our game, of course, and we'll keep an eye on what happens between Wigan and Wickham. Let's take a look at the two lineups for this one. 
So here are the two starting lineups for this one. Oxford start with Stephen Goal, Long, Moore, Critchlow, Jones, Rodriguez, Seddon, Williams, Brannigan, Taylor with Jebson leading the line for Oxford. We start with Moore in goal. Bushry, Williams, Masterson, Manning, Jabello, White, Hamer, Gorakes, Callum O'Hare with Matt Godden leading the line. So tonight could be the night. Can we secure promotion back? to the championship and make it two in nine i should imagine wigan will have something to say about it can they get a result against wickham come on wickham is basically what i'm saying let's get this wrapped up sooner rather than later please it's our first opportunity to get promoted so there will be plenty more to come william picks the ball up into jabello look for bushry looks inside for matt godden an early goal would be fantastic and settle everybody down Godden gets the ball into the box. Looking for Gorakes at the far post. Headed towards goal. Stevens with the save. Goal kick. Moore's going to take it. I love the Kassam Stadium, by the way. Only three sides to it. Been there. You have to get a bus through a housing estate. It's very funny. Callum O'Hare with the ball. And he's out for a corner. I should explain. I do like to go and visit away grounds when I go on holiday. And we went to Oxford for a holiday. I'm not completely weird. I am a little bit weird. Has to be said. Hamer with the ball into the box. Anybody going to get their head on it? No, it's headed away by Elliot Moore. Wonder how many fans are standing on a van to watch the game. Into Williams. Patient from Oxford, has to be said. Looking for Long. Put a bit of pressure on them. Moore into Long again. Will he send it Long? No, we're playing short into Moore. Brannigan. Round the corner for Jepson. Going wide to Long again. Try and look in behind, are they? No, we're pretty tightly packed, it has to be said. Long again. Probing, looking for a gap. There is Cameron Brannigan with the gap. Will he get the shot away? He will, but it's a good block by Gustavo Hamer. Incidentally, there doesn't look like there's anybody behind the goal on a van. Disappointed. Brannigan with the corner. Is anybody going to get their head on it? No, it goes over everybody. Harvey White is just going to let it roll out. I would have kept it alive, Harvey, to be honest. If Moore has the ball. Sends it out looking for Manning. Manning coming into the Oxford half. Looking for Gorakes. Go on, son. Go on, Victor. Get it over, son. Plays it back into Manning. Tries to get it over. Harvey White picks it up. Plays it into Gorakes. Looking for Jabello. Jabello with a header over the bar. Sunderland lead against Lake Norian. Not really what we're looking at. Looks like it's still nil-nil between Wigan and Wickham. Go kick. Stevens with it. Sending it down the field. Are we going to win the header? Roshan Williams wins the header. Gorakes picks it up. Hamer. Into Manning. Have a runner. Somebody be a runner, for goodness sake. Hamer. Playing it into O'Hare. Onto Gorakes. Looking for Manning again. Players making their way into the box. Jabello's at the far post if he can find him. Oh, Manning will look to try and send the ball over. He does. There is Jabello. Rises. Saved by Stevens, though. Corner. Gustavo Hamer going to take it. Anybody going to get their head on it? Anybody at all? No, Harvey White puts it wide. Didn't get his head on it. Got a shot away, though. Throw into Oxford. Into added time at the end of the first half. Jepson inside to Williams. Rodriguez on to Brannigan. Jepson into Taylor. Oh, Brannigan's going to get away. Is he going to get the shot away? Moore turns it away. Oh, my God. Get rid of it. Thank you. Manny picks it up. Looking for Gorakes. Chance for us to break out before half time. Got time. Before the referee will blow his whistle, but Jones comes across. And that is half time. Oxford nil, Coventry nil. Late scores are the ones we need to have a look at. Anything happen. Wigan are leading at half time against Wickham. Okay, it's fine. It probably means it's not going to happen today. Unless Wickham can turn it round in the second half. Of course, we need to go in front ourselves. Let's focus on what we're doing for the time being. We'll take a look at full time and see what happens. Going down the field looking for Gorakes. Gorakes looking for Manning. Plays it into Hamer. O'Hare. Looking for Matt Godden. Moore heads it away though. Williams picks it up for Oxford. Looking for Jebson, but Williams has dealt with it for us. Get a bit of encouragement on the field. Coming up to the hour mark. It. Green faces. Nice to see. Will it do anything though? Free kick to Oxford. Brannigan into the centre. Gorakes heads it away. Williams will pick it up for Oxford. Goes back into Seddon. Rodriguez. 
Plays it into Moore. Goes wide to Long. Into Brannigan. Taylor. Playing nice football around the box. Good tip over the bar from Moore. From Williams' his shot. Oxford starting to turn the screw slightly. Brannigan with the corner. Can anybody head it away? Yes, it's beaten in the air. Just about. Williams gets it clear. Critchlow. Plays it into Rodriguez. We are going to make a change in a second. Not happy with what I've seen at the start of the second half. That is for sure. Clipslow with the ball, though. Goes back to his goalkeeper, sending it long down the field. He's got to win the header. Masterson heads it wide for Gorikes. Manning. Ryan Manning coming down the field. Hamer. Into White. Turn, Harvey. It plays it into Godden. O'Hare looking for Gorikes. Another ball across. In towards Matt Godden. Matt Godden with a roller. Oh, my goodness me. Just goes wide. It is out for a corner. Deflected. We haven't scored a lot from a corner lately. Gustavo Hamer's going to take it. Anybody going to get their head on it? Anybody at all? No, it's more in the head. More in the air again. Wins the header. Hamer sends it back in. Stevens with the catch. Right. What we are going to do, we are going to take Callum O'Hare off. We're going to bring on Liam Cullen. Matt Godden is going to go and play behind Liam Cullen. Keeps Godden on the field. And it gets us another striker on the pitch. Godden into White. Looking back for Hamer. Into O'Hare. Looking for Ryan Manning. Get the ball across the front of goal. He has done. Critchlow heads it away, though. Try again. O'Hare. Ah, they just do it. Hamer. Into White. Looking for O'Hare. Roll it across. Anybody going to put it in? No, it's out for a corner. We are starting to show our muscle a little bit, though. Corner to Coventry. Hamer's going to take it. Is Moore going to head it away again? Gorakes might get there. He has, but he's headed it over the bar. Into the car park, that one. Manning with the free kick into Gorakes. Plays it back into Hamer. On to Godden. Masterson into Manning. Don't lose it there. Go for the short ball. That's it. Godden. Manning. Looks for Gorakes. Cullen's making the run. Harvey White through as well. Will he finish it? No. Stevens with the save. Need to take one of these chances that are coming along now. Going to make a change on the right-hand side. Wesley Jabello is looking tired. We're going to put Gorakes on to the right. We're going to bring Jordan Shipley on. We'll save Alex Myton for later. Goal kick. Moore with it. Sending it down the field. Anybody going to win the header? No. Just going to allow Oxford to pick it up. Fair enough. Brannigan looking for Jones. He's in behind the defence. And he's into the penalty area. Will he get a shot away? It's a good tackle for Ryan Manning. Had to get it right. Come on. Last 20. Put it in. Shipley with the corner. Anybody going to get their head on it? Anybody at all? No, Moore heads it away. Of course he does. He's won pretty much every header inside the box today. White looking for Gorakes. White again. Gorakes trying to go around the outside. And he find a cross into the centre. He does get it towards the far post. Shipley will keep it alive. Hits the side netting. Stevens headed forward by Masterson. Manning. Bodies making their way into the box. Shipley is one of them. Can he get it across? Manning will. Towards the far post. Godden will pick it up. He's run a long way to get it. Bushry. Sends it towards the back post. Shipley heads it down. Cullen. Good save. Godden. Gorakes, brother. He does put it in. And the third attempt. But we lead by a goal to nil. With 18 minutes to play. It might not be the day today. But at least we are giving ourselves an opportunity for it to happen. Good save from Stevens. He's unlucky to be fair to him. Gorick is tapping in at the far post. Oxford nil, Coventry 1. Right, we're going to make a change in the centre of the park. Gustavo Hamer is going to be the man to come off. Harvey White is going to be the man to come off. Liam Kelly is going to come off. We'll see what happens between Wigan and Wickham. Whether it rolls on another week. I suspect it probably will. But we've done what we needed to do today. So far. Triple change for Oxford. Lots of players coming off. J. Emmanuel Thomas, one of them coming on. Kind of played up the line towards J. Emmanuel Thomas. I like the fact he's just called Jet. If anyone remembers Gladiators, good header from Jebson, saved by Moore. I got distracted by Jet from Gladiators. Hamer, looking for Gorakes. Plays it back into Bushry. Cross into Williams. Kelly, into Godden. Lovely stuff. Bushry. Just keep the ball now. Kelly going up the line for Gorakis. Bushry. It's a fantastic move. Matt Godden is through on goal. Will he finish it? Yes, he will. 
20th goal of the season from Matt Godden. Beautiful football by Coventry. And that wraps this one up. It was slow. It was patient. But when the killer blow was needed to be had, Liam Kelly provides it. Rolling it through for Matt Godden. Takes his time. Settles himself. Rolls it in the opposite corner. Oxford nil, Coventry 2. And that'll do you. Into four additional minutes. We don't need to bother, do we? Added time is just a waste of time today. You have a free kick, though. Chance to make it three. This would be harsh on Oxford, to be fair. They had the better of the first half. Chances wise, at least. Jepson picks the ball up. Brannigan's gone down under the challenge from Hamer. Jepson trying to get away from, I think that's Ryan Manning coming towards him. Jones. Look at the amount of players we've got back, though. Considering it's the 94th minute. Well done, lads. Well run. And that is full time. Oxford nil, Coventry 2. Let's take a look at the rest of the results from today. And the big one from our perspective, Wigan 4, Wickham nil. So they close the gap to Sunderland because they've only drawn with Lake Norium. So that means it does roll on another week. But the games are starting to run out for Wigan. Any other big results? I can see the Bristol Rovers have moved up a couple of places. Drew with Accrington Stanley. So they're giving themselves a little bit of a chance, them and Fleetwood, keeping themselves in the division. Anything up the top of the table, Bolton have moved up a few places in to just behind Plymouth, who only drew with the MK Dons. Didn't help the MK Dons either, that one. So, yeah, let's roll on and let's see what we're going to do next time. So, we are going to have to roll it on one. We're going to Easter Monday, where we will take on Fleetwood at home. Wigan play Bolton away. It's going to be a huge game for them. Mathematically, if both sides win, obviously we are 13 points ahead at this point. We will only have 12 points to play for. So, yeah, Fleetwood Town it is next time. Easter Monday it is for us then. Fleetwood Town are the opposition and we probably don't need anything from Bolton. But if they can give us a helping hand, then all is the better. We will be promoted back to the championship at that point. But a good win over Oxford. I thought that was going to be tricky today. But second half, we were much the better team. And we made our chances count in the end, right? So we will come back for that game with Fleetwood Town next time around. Don't forget if you enjoyed today's video to please leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And also don't forget to leave me a comment if you've got anything to say on today's video. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.